Good people YouTube, I'm the Watch It and last week I compared the Seiko SPB143 and my good old Black Bay 58 Blue over here and in the bracelet section of that video I talked about something that I've talked about you know quite a few times before and that's uh, <laughs> the fact that I cannot get the fit of my bracelet on this Black Bay right at all no matter how I adjust it and also on top of that my particular example has jiggly end links which sound terrible and tap and just irritate me. But thankfully a commenter gave me a great idea for the loose end links and our favorite uncle, Uncle Seiko, has come up with the perfect solution to finally, finally give me the perfect fit on this bracelet. And yeah, I mean, to be honest, he solved a problem that really should have been solved a long time ago by Tudor, but I'm glad that uh, Uncle Seiko listened to us and finally gave what we needed and uh yeah uh, i bought these things by myself just as an fyi I, yeah so here we are and yeah let's just uh take a quick look at the bracelet over here and see if you can spot where it's at and yeah you probably can't just because uncle seiko did such a good job in making it look exactly like the other links and here it is, right there, right at the uh, end of this clasp over here. Uh, it's, a, it's a half link, and it looks exactly like all the other links uh, that we have over here, and why isn't this focusing? But anyway, um, yeah, the, the rivets look absolutely spot on compared to everything else. I mean, the finish is pretty much spot on as well. I mean, he's, he's done a really, really great job over here. And also, so yeah, I mean, pretty much unless you actively try to look for it, you will never see it. So yeah, don't worry about it, uh, you know, sticking out like a sore thumb. So uh, to get into what he included into it, obviously he gives the half link and then also he gives two screws over here, which is great. And uh, oh, by the way, a few people uh, noticed uh, that I have a hole in my glove over here and then they said that I need a new glove. But um, yeah, uh, this is actually what I use to, uh, to scroll my phone when I need to while I have gloves. So. It's all good here, and now I can use my now you can use my phone. Yeah, big brain over here. So yeah, uh, to answer the question whether or not it solved the problem of my bad fitting bracelet, and yes, it absolutely did. It made it work. It made it work, and that's awesome. Just because this is a bracelet that I haven't been able to wear ever since I got it for you know nearly one and a half years so it's a pretty much a new watch for me at this point so I am definitely definitely so grateful <laughs> that he made it and yeah I mean now this is this is on the verge of being sold so I don't think it's going to be sold anymore um, I'll have to look for something else uh, uh, to sell in, in its place okay so next up the other problem that I had with this watch that I talked about before is uh, loose end links over here Yeah, I mean, it used to always just click around and it just used to cheapen the watch so, 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 so much. And it used to bother me so much. And uh, yeah, I mean, even if I could wear uh, the bracelet, you know, if it had fit uh, the right way, it just would have drove me insane. And I probably wouldn't have worn the bracelet in the end because of all that clicking sound over here. But a commenter uh, uh, Eddie uh, commented and also you mentioned double-sided tape and yeah the double-sided tape uh, gave me a very big light bulb in my head and what I did was I just put a little bit of double-sided tape on the inside of the end link on both sides I put it on and I squeezed it right against the case like this over here and problem solved problem solved so now it will not make that clicking sound and drive me insane and it stays in place and it just does what it's supposed to do from the start and it actually feels like a solid bracelet because honestly it cheapened the watch so much hearing all that clicking sound over there so yeah uh definitely very happy with it and yeah no clicking sound over here but uh yeah i still want to get uh, new end links to see uh, if a uh, tutor can uh, fix it because 
I honestly should not be uh, having to put double-sided tape to fix a watch of this quality. Okay, so what are the next steps for my Black Bay 58? So, yeah, there are still uh, some issues with this bracelet uh, that I talked about. I just don't like the fact that these end links aren't flush and that the uh, finishing of the end links is just a little bit different compared to the finishing on the and the color tone of the uh, actual case itself over here. Not a big deal. Then also, this bracelet, at least on this end over here and this back end over oops, yeah, on this <laughs> on this back end over here, sometimes pulls my hair like crazy to the point where I feel like I'm gonna cry. Definitely uh, not something that I want happening. So I think. What I'm gonna do next is get some, at least one of those uh, Uncle Seiko bracelets on this. And I think it can solve pretty much uh, uh, the, those final issues because it, the class does look a lot more comfy. Yeah, um, uh, let me know down in the comments which Uncle Seiko bracelet you guys have on Black Bay or any other watch and what you guys think that I should put on uh, this Black Bay over here. So there you have it. We finally have a solution to these stupid fit uh, issues that others, including myself, have been having probably since day one, four years ago when it was finally, re when the Black Bay 58 was released. And yeah, so thank you to Uncle Seiko for, you know, taking the initiative that, you know, maybe some other brands should have tutor. As always, of course, if you enjoyed the video and you found the info on this end link, uh, you know, not end link, half link really helpful, uh, do give it a like, uh, helps a lot, and then also will help fellow watch nuts and other Black Bay 58 owners who might have the same issue, find this video and let them know that all is well over here. So yeah, um, until the next time, good day.